Hey everybody, welcome to my interactive guide to farming in Warframe. This is as of patch 5.4 hammer time, so things may have changed, and if they do, I will attempt to make another video. Basically, what you're going to want to do is look for the materials you want, if you're looking for materials. If you're looking for Warframes, look on the list of Warframes and find the planet you need, and then just use the annotations to click on the planet that you see in the solar system in the background, and that will take you to a new part of the video. Video, well, I will explain the best levels to go to for what you're looking for and what kind of equipment you should be using against those enemies and kind of what I did uh, to farm myself. Basically the gist of it. Hey everyone, welcome to Mercury. This planet has Morphix, Ferrite, and Polymer bundles. But to be honest with you, you can get all these crafting materials and other planets in other systems, and they're higher level, so it's just better to go farm elsewhere. Mercury is kind of beginner level, but it does have the boss, Captain Vor. Not sure what he drops, but you can farm if you want. So I say skip Mercury. Hey everyone, welcome to Venus. Venus has alloy plate, polymer bundle, and circuits. And it's home to the first boss I fought, the Jackal, which is on Fossa. You can see it to the uh, very far right there, underneath all the recommended items to get. So, if you're looking for alloy plate, the best map that I found was to farm Unda. It's kind of bottom left of the center it's right under Killiken. it's an infested map and what you want to do is take your melee weapon I suggest something that hits more than one and just go in there take your time with the loot radar with the enemy radar get every single cylinder get every single locker the longer you take the more infested will spawn and the more chances you'll get alloy plate and polymer bundle of course and then for circuits, I recommend it doing the boss fight. The bosses always have a higher chance of dropping the rarer crafting items. And he will also drop around 20 alloy plates as well. So I recommend Unda for the alloy plates and Fossa if you want circuits and alloy plates. And of course, you can get the Rhino Warframe from the Jackal on Fossa. Hey everyone, welcome to Earth. This is one of the harder systems of Warframe currently. The hardest being the boss. A lot of people have trouble with him because he has high shields. But this planet drops ferrite, rubetto, and neurodes. Now you're gonna need a lot of rubettos as they're needed for pretty much every Warframe and a lot of the weapons too. And I found the best map for rubettos is Eurasia. And it's near the center and it's an infested map. What you want to do is get a melee weapon and the loot radar and the enemy radar and take your time, get every cylinder, get every locker. The more time you take, the more infested will spawn and the higher chance that you'll get rubetto. And for the neurodes, you want to, your best bet is to kill the boss in Everest, which is at the top. That's Counselor Vey Heck. And I suggest you use Rhino if you can and just tank his damage while you're taking down his shield. He has the highest amount of health out of the bosses right now. And if you're soloing it with Rhino, it's pretty simple. Just face roll him with a Gorgon, take down a shield, and when Iron Skin wears off, hit it again, and rinse and repeat. He's actually pretty easy with Rhino. So and that's how you do that. Ferrite is a really, really common crafting material in, in the Earth system. You'll pretty much get it in every map 
including Everest, the boss one, and uh, Eurasia, the infested one. Another good infested one to go to is Lua, down at the bottom right. They're both really good to farm Rebetto and Ferrite. You will get a lot of Ferrite, trust me, and Rebetto's kind of like the middle rarity crafting. Hey everybody, welcome to Mars. Mars drops Morphix, Salvage, and the rare Gallium. Gallium you need to make the Orican reactors to upgrade your your Warframes and your weapons to the supercharged system. Uh, for this, I recommend to only do the war level. You can see it. It's kind of behind my recommended items. The star is pointing to it, but I have the I have it there. You can you'll see it when you go in game. The war will drop everything. Salvage is just dumb easy to get. Morphix you can also get on Pluto, which is a really good map to farm Rebetto as well. So Morphix shouldn't be a problem. It's the Gallium you're looking for mostly because it's pretty rare, and you'll find that on War when you fight the boss, who is a uh, who is a uh, what do you call them? The robot guys. I forget what they're called for some reason. Corpus. It's Sergeant Neff Anyo. And he's not too hard, but he does go invisible, and sometimes he glitches and goes invisible permanently. So look out for that, and have fun. So you're interested in Jupiter. That means you want salvage, circuits, and neural sensors. Salvage, really, really easy to get. You'll find it everywhere in this system. Circuits and neural sensors are the more rare ones, neural sensors being the most rare. Uh, it's on par with the gallium. So just like the super rare crafting materials, you want to only farm the boss because he will have a really high chance of dropping the, well, the high level crafting stuff which will be neural sensors and the boss in this system is the J3 Golem and he's an infected boss and he's really he's really dumb easy he walks super slow and if you get too far away he'll pull you in to his poison he has a big poison cloud around him so the trick is to just keep pace while he's walking towards you and you should be able to take no damage at all also it's said that Golem drops the Volt Warframe blueprint, so look out for those. I don't know if it's confirmed though, so just forewarning. Looking for Saturn, are you? Well, you come to the right place. Saturn has nanospores, plastids, and the elusive Orican cell, which is one of the rare ones like Gallium. Orican cell only drops in the Saturn system. And nanospores and plastids are super common. So, just like the other super rare crafting materials systems, I recommend only farming the boss level, which is Tethys. It's near the center, and it's General Sargis Ruck. He's similar to the Everest boss, but he's easier. You should be able to just tank with Iron Skin if you're using a Rhino. Um, if you're having troubles, you you can always team up with people. Uh, it does get a little bit more difficult when you play with other people, so that's why I kind of like to solo the bosses. And General Sargis Ruck drops Ember Blueprints, so look out for them. And good luck! Hey everybody, welcome to Uranus. On this system, you will find Polymer Bundles, Plastids, and gallium. So gallium you will find most profoundly in Titania, which is the boss map with Tile Regor. He's a pretty easy guy. He does go invisible, so be careful of that. And sometimes he can glitch and he can be permanently invisible. And if you want to farm polymer bundles or plastids, I recommend Prospero. Bring a melee weapon and take advantage of your loot radar and your enemy radar. Get every single container you can and every single locker. The more time you spend in the level, the more infested will spawn and you'll have a higher chance of getting more of the crafting resources. 
and this boss does drop the Ash Warframe blueprint. So if you want to be a Ninja Warframe, then get the Ash Warframe in this system. Hey guys, welcome to the orbit of Neptune. Neptune drops nanospores, ferrite, and the elusive control module. You're gonna need that for orcan reactors and artifacts. So it's really important and they only drop in the Neptune system. Just like every other super rare crafting drop, you wanna farm the boss because he has the highest chance of dropping it. And the boss in this system is in Smanth. <laughs> the tar well the guy the boss's name is Hyena and he's one of the harder bosses he has like a an area of attack flame skill that really hurts even if you're playing a rhino using iron skin so what I recommend is jumping on top of something so he can't get at you or if you're Loki disarm him and he won't be able to use that attack anymore which makes him a nice docile pet. And for everything else, nanospores, ferrite, you can find them in, out, in all the other levels. I recommend just clearing out the system and just keep doing the boss level over and over again. You'll get lots of nanospores and ferrite. They're really common. And then you have the increased chance of getting the control module. Hey everybody, this is Pluto, the non-planet, but give him some credit. It's a pretty fun system. It's one of the higher level ones, just like Earth. And you'll find Rebetto, Morphix, and Plastids. The rarest of these probably being the Morphix, but Rebetto is just as rare. Morphix is technically the rarer one. So what I do here is just farm Hades. You can see that's the boss map. You can see the star kind of behind the recommended items. And the whole level is pretty hard, so I, I recommend doing it with a team just so you can ensure your success. Now, before the 5.4 patch, Hades used to draw drop all of the sword blueprints, which are only available from alert missions now. So keep that in mind. I'm not sure if he drops uh, Warframe parts anymore. Um, yes, he drops Excalibur Warframe parts. And for the, the uh, Morphix, or for the Plastids and Rebetto, you can try Nyx. It's an infestation defense mission. It's pretty pretty self-explanatory. You just defend the cryopod, uh, and sometimes they drop stuff. But for Rubetto, I think Earth is the best choice for Rubetto. And Morphix, uh, you can get more in other systems, but you, you can get quite a bit from farming Hades. Good luck.